Hello, brothers and sisters. I am Ogre Six, and I used to be in this relationship. Like all relationships, it had its ups and downs. One particular down was that my partner in this relationship liked to argue. I do not. I'm a very peaceful man. I'm very happy to sit and discuss differences. In fact, there are a few things I enjoy more, but I don't like yelling. Every time I lose my temper, I hate myself a little bit. She, on the other hand, felt that getting angry and yelling was an integral part of her relationship and should happen every couple of weeks, followed by about a frenzied lovemaking. I am, of course, in favor of frenzied lovemaking. I just don't need a lot of yelling and crying to get me in the mood. But the woman was clever. The woman was devious. The woman knew how to get what she'd come for, and what she'd come for was an argument. This is how she got it. Sweetheart? Yes, my love? Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Sweetheart, is something wrong? Nope. Got my book. It's a beautiful day. Everything's great. Are you sure? I am. <clears throat> I am absolutely sure, yes. Only you seem angry. Are you angry about something? I am not. You're not angry at me, are you? Not in the least. Not, not even a little bit. You'd tell me if you were, wouldn't you? I would, yeah. Really? Yes, I would, if I was angry, which I'm not. <sighs> okay. Feeling any better? Honey, I was never feeling bad. I don't know why you don't believe me. I heard you say it, sure. But I can tell. I know you pretty well. Apparently not as well as you think. Oh. Well, okay then. I'll leave you alone. Thank you, love. Okay, honey, seriously. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing. There is nothing wrong. Obviously something's wrong with you. Why won't you confide in me? Because there's nothing to confide. Seriously, right now the only thing bothering me is that I'm trying to read a book and you keep interrupting me for no reason. Don't snap at me. I didn't snap. You asked me what's wrong and I told you. You keep asking me what's wrong and there's nothing wrong except for you keep asking me what's wrong. Hey, I care. Don't you dare get angry at me. I'm not fucking angry! Oh, no. You're not angry. I'm not... What? I, well, yes. Okay, yes, I'm angry now. Of course I'm angry now. I knew it. Why the hell wouldn't I be angry? I'm minding my own business, trying to enjoy myself, and you come around making me crazy. I'm making you crazy? I'm making you crazy? You know what the trouble is with you? Et cetera. After this had happened a few times, I knew when it was coming, and so she could trigger it with much less effort. Sweetheart, are you okay? Of course I'm okay! Stop hassling me, you goddamn lunatic! To an outsider, it looked like she was taking interest in my welfare, and I was being a dick. To be perfectly fair to her, that was sometimes the case. But often, she was just poking a spot on my psyche she had already rubbed raw. On a recent upload from The Atheist Experience, Matt Dillahunty and Russell Glasser were talking about angry atheists. I've linked it below, and you should go watch it. They talk about the subject at length better than I can, but I'm going to toss in my two cents anyways. That's why I told you the story. I am an atheist, but I'm not angry. I am, as I said before, a peaceful man. All I want out of life is a comfortable chair, a good book, and a bottle of wine. Most of the atheists I know are more or less the same way. So, to any Christian viewers I might have, the next time you encounter an atheist who seems angry for no reason, consider whether this might be the reason. 
not only are we all the time hearing that we're immoral, closed-minded, and antisocial, but we're also constantly accused of being angry. You know what? That makes us angry.